Hello guys, my name's Chris, welcome back. I'm just going to have to wait a second, we've just got some uh, Apaches over here. Just, yeah. <clears throat> now I uh, wanted to introduce to you today a weapon of such immense power that it doesn't have a name, much like Lord Voldemort. No name which could truly describe the abject horror created when the trigger is pulled on this rifle uh, exists. I was hesitant about originally doing a video about this rifle purely because of the, the abject fear that the very sight of it brings into any enemy. Um, however, I decided that in the end it was going to have to be done. So, ladies and gentlemen, the, the ultimate weapon. Now, as you'll immediately notice, there is a certain feature about this rifle that is extremely striking, it's going to stand out to you, and that is, of course, the tactical fire selector. Now, what this enables you to do, uh, it's actually, unlike the standard AK-47 rifle, where you would have to take your hand away from fire control to switch from safe to auto or safe to semi. This selector enables you to simply keep your hand on the fire control and choose your settings like so. Now, one of the most innovative features of this particular rifle is of course the adjustable foregrip system. Now, it's a well-known fact that on Kalashnikov pattern rifles, if you attach a vertical foregrip, you immediately run into issues with loading magazines. Here we go, there's a prime example. I'm trying to extract the mag and it can't come out. But there we go with the foregrip twisted out of the way. So, to demonstrate, remove the foregrip, rock, lock, insert, we're good to go. When it comes to a tactical speed dynamic reload, all we've got to do, break the weapon down, Move the foregrip out of position, throw it in the magazine, and then you're good to go. Just like that. Now one thing you will also notice is the adjustable foresight system. Now this weapon does not feature any sort of a rear sight, and as any experienced Special Forces shooter will tell you, that is an absolute guaranteed way to increase your speed, effectiveness, performance and accuracy when it comes to close quarters combat battle situations by at least 5,752%. It simply means that there is no having to align your sights, none of that bullshit, straight away on the front sight, whatever you point it at, that is where your rounds are going to go. Boom. Shit is going to die. Now, when it comes to those close quarters situations, this is another way that the 360 adjustable foregrip is going to come into use. When you're rounding a corner, Ordinarily, your grip will be stuck in this position. That's not much good. What you want to do is deploy it forward, adjust 90 degrees, and bang! Straight in there, getting around those corners, taking out the bad guys, doing all that good stuff. Tea and medals by Christmas. What else is there to mention? Of course, the feature of an AR buffer tube. Again, um, camouflage-wise, this is another important thing. Uh, for those of you who are, who are familiar with the Desert Rats, a uh, very famous unit operated during World War II, one of the predecessors to the Special Air Service. Um, in North Africa, they employed pink camouflage and uh, to great effect, and uh, it's well known to be a universal color that will camouflage a unit in any circumstance. Hence, we have the, the barrel here, the foresight, the handguard, and the stock all in uh, tactical pink. Um, it, it really does work well, as you can see. Another thing that's important to consider is fighting from vehicles. Now, uh, this is uh, something you'll see a lot of guys like Travis Haley, Chris Costa, they run all these classes, you know, uh, self-defense classes where they're fighting and defending themselves from a position where they've been attacked inside a vehicle. Now, this is a fairly long rifle, that's just an inescapable fact. However, with the rotatable foregrip system, what you can do is do a full 80 rotation of your grip pod. Place it under, and there you go. You're in a hip fire mode, safety off, and even in the confines of a tight vehicle, you're on it, not a problem. If you need to shoot upside down, around corners, any of that sort of stuff, the adjustable foresight system, the universal adjustable foresight, that is going to facilitate that for you. When it comes to those reloading 
sequences I mentioned earlier, when you need to do a speed emergency dynamic reload with a Kalashnikov pattern rifle, which is what you're seeing here in terms of the receiver, we've added a upgraded magazine catch here, just that little bit wider. It just means with the aid of the adjustable rotation foregrip system, you can rotate out of the way, hit your magazine catch, get rid of the magazine, grab your fresh one, rock and lock, round in the chamber, as it would be on the real thing, and you're good to go. Obviously this is just a replica prototype in, uh, in SOF 4. However, these will be rolling out of, of the factories in production in a live format. Kalashnikov receiver, AR-15 front tip, with direct gas and pin. They had you know, a few design difficulties making it work in terms of the, the real firearm, but they got around it in terms of the interface between the bolt carrier and the gas system from the AR. But like I said, they fixed that. I think, you know, Mikhail Kalashnikov, God rest his soul, would genuinely not be spinning in his grave at the sight of this. I think he would be incredibly proud, and uh, I just wish he could have lived to see this weapon. Uh, what can I say, guys? So. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.